is Millie Bobby Brown getting her own show as a Stranger Things spinoff for Eleven. The franchise isn't finished yet. Hello guys? If Millie Bobby Brown's Eleven is your favorite character from Netflix's Stranger Things, we have some exciting news for you. She may be getting her own spinoff series. Fans of Stranger Things may be counting down the days until the premiere of Season 4, but there appears to be another reason to be happy this year. So, what do we know so far? Let us take a look. Number 4. Stranger Things as a Franchise Stranger Things is Netflix's attempt to turn a billion-dollar franchise into a reality. When Stranger Things was launched, viewers came out in force. The cast appeared on magazine covers and talk shows in a matter of weeks. The series received Emmy nominations and was one of Netflix's most popular original shows. It's the most famous show in terms of customer favorites whenever a survey is conducted. So, it is pretty clear that Netflix would want to cash in more to the show's success. There's a franchise in the works, according to Netflix CEO Ted Sarandos, who also hinted at spin-offs. So there's not much to go on there, but there's generally no smoke without fire. He hasn't given a final confirmation yet. It's worth noting that the CEO comments come a year after it was speculated that a spin-off for star Millie Bobby Brown, who plays Eleven on the show, was in the works. The news is still unconfirmed by Netflix and Millie Bobby Brown at this time, but fans do want this news to be accurate. Ted also shared viewing data for Netflix, the most popular movies and television shows, including Stranger Things. According to research, Stranger Things Season 3 was seen for 582 million hours in its first month on Netflix. As a result, we can observe that this show has a sizable fan base. So, what do we know about the supposed spinner at this point? Not much, because claims of a spin-off program are just rumors at this point. However, based on the numbers, it appears to be quite likely. We have seen stories turning into reality. Number 3. Stranger Things Season 5 Stranger Things Season 5 has not been yet confirmed by Netflix. Netflix released a teaser for Season 4 on September 2 and stated that it would premiere on November 2. A fifth season of the show has yet to be confirmed, although co-creator Ross Duffer noted in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter in August that Season 4 would not be the final season. They are aware of what will occur at the end and when it will occur. The uncertainty surrounding Stranger Things Season 4's release date has fans wondering about the show's future, particularly the status of Stranger Things Season 5, when it will premiere, how many episodes it will contain, and more. Due to the coronavirus, the shoot for Season 4 was delayed that further pushed the possibilities of Season 5. The Netflix powerhouse developed by the Duffer Brothers is perhaps the most sought-after program on the streaming site. And after three seasons, it is safe to say that it is one of the best shows ever made. The certified fresh series is a beautiful venture from start to finish because of the nostalgic tunes, engaging narrative, and magnificent characters. The long wait for new adventures has undoubtedly caught viewers' interest, and it's no secret that many of them wish the program would never end. While it is unavoidable, it will come to an end at some point. Some are curious as to when that will happen. Number 2. Millie Bobby renewed her contract. Brown's contract with Netflix was renewed, according to multiple news outlets. Brown has been in the news for a long time because of her Netflix shows. The famous actress will appear in the fourth season of Stranger Things and was part of HBO Max's Godzilla vs. Kong. But that's not all. According to various sources, Netflix, the world's most extensive streaming provider, reportedly wants to lock Millie Bobby Brown for 10 years. Yes, you heard it right. Millie Bobby Brown a wonderfully brilliant actress, has appeared in several television series over the years. Three films are now under pre-production for the teenager. Fans of the teen sensation will be lining up to see her in these movies as soon as they come out. Also, the fourth season of Stranger Things is set to premiere next year, and it's been reported that the new episodes will go deeper into Eleven's backstory. Millie Bobby Brown will star in a Netflix film shortly. Enola Holmes, a movie by Browns, was supposed to be released in theaters. However, due to the coronavirus outbreak, it was only released on Netflix in September. Following the popularity of Enola Holmes, Netflix has revealed that Brown will star in a new film, but not as an actor. Netflix's official film account announced the news through Twitter. Damsel, a new fantasy picture from director Juan Carlos Frestadillo and writer Dan Maisel, will star Brown and be executive produced by her. Netflix will release it soon. Are you following the pattern? So. It seems that Netflix is not going to let go of Millie so soon. Number 1. There's more to Eleven's story. Eleven, 
the protagonist of Stranger Things, didn't always have superpowers. She was subjected to tests until she obtained talents that proved helpful when facing the Demogorgon and the Mind Flayer. Eleven, whose actual name is Jane, was given a nickname as a child and was subjected to experiments until she developed extraordinary abilities. Dr. Brenner oversaw these trials to Hawkins Laboratory. Even though Dr. Brenner referred to himself as Papa and portrayed himself as a father figure to Eleven, he is not the character's biological father. Jane only met her mother, Terry Ives, when it came to her birth parents. Terry Ives attempted to reclaim Jane from Hawkins' laboratory, but she was experimented on and left in an unstable mental state after a failed effort. She does, however, share her daughter's abilities, and the two can converse through the use of lights in the room. In Project Indigo, Eleven wasn't the only experiment. Jane meets another individual with magical abilities branded with the number 8 later in the series. Eleven leaves this family to return to her Hawkins family because these sisters don't get along. We have seen all this in Season 2. Eleven's abilities were strong enough to overturn a car and save her pals, but that came at a cost. When she didn't use her skills to their maximum potential, she was frequently chastised at Hawkins' laboratory. She didn't learn how to be a typical kid until she met Mike and managed to get away from Dr. Brenner. There's a lot of potential in this character, and there's hope for a bit of self-journey. So, Eleven's history is far more complex, and with the additions of other people like Number 8, there is a huge possibility that the spin-off will be around them. Also, if you have seen the Season 4 teaser, you know that the upcoming season will be more focused on Eleven's past. Stranger Things Season 4's one-minute clip transports us to Hawkins National Laboratory, where a slew of special needs, kids engage in a variety of games and toys. They have shaven heads and are dressed in medical gowns. We meet Eleven's fellow test subjects. Papa appears to be Dr. Martin Brenner, a former U.S. Department of Energy scientist who raised Eleven and other test subjects at Hawkins Lab. To carry out his experiment, he kidnapped these kids. He then enters the room and greets the children. The camera stops at the door with the number 11 on it near the end of the teaser, and Brenner is heard asking, Are you listening, Eleven? So this opens a huge window for a spinoff, don't you think? We are not sure what's in store for the finale of Stranger Things, but the story may split and the characters will go their separate ways for good. We might also see Eleven's journey of how she ventures the world on her own in the spin-off series. From a business standpoint, it also makes sense for Netflix. This series has a lot of fans, which makes it very marketable. Even if this Eleven spin-off doesn't happen, we can expect more Stranger Things spin-offs in the future. This world's past is far too rich and there is far too much promise for it to end with just a few more seasons. What is Hawkins' fate in the future? What happened in Hawkins that caused all of this to happen? All of this and more might be investigated. If we learn more about the Eleven spinoff, we'll let you know. Guys, that's it for today. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to receive regular updates, click the bell symbol. In our next video, we'll meet you. Bye for now, take care, and stay safe.